I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, and today I am taking you on two property tours. We're at 1304 Navasota Street, and we're gonna go see 1300 afterwards. These houses are breathtaking. I'm so excited, come on in. These two houses were built with love. The owner is an artist and this is her company, Bay Lyles. She makes beautiful bags. There's some in the kitchen that I can show you. And gosh, does she just have exquisite, exquisite taste. This home was created as a home that they were gonna keep as their own home. They have four kids, her husband is a professor and they entertain a lot and have a lot of the students come to the house. So they created this seating so that they could have events in this space. And I mean, just the details, look at the rounded corner and how this wraps around the bench, just amazing. So we call this modern Georgian. So it's got these clean modern lines, like look at how sharp the door frames are, but it's got that old kind of Georgian, very, very like objects that you'll find at Round Top, which we have a Round Top video coming very, very soon. I can't wait to share that with you. But just come look at some of the details. Like these door handles are just amazing. These look like old doors that she found. There are so many details in this house. Come on, let's go check out the kitchen. Look at the sink in this little bathroom. And look at the beautiful tile selections with the marble and the gold. And I love how she's done these countertops in wood and how they they have been lived in and it just adds to the charm of the space. There's all these very usable nooks throughout the house. I love the blue choice. It just feels classic and homey. And she has all these amazing little details going on. So you can be chopping right here throwing your scraps in, and then you can just take out your compost bin afterwards. Amazing! This beautiful bread box is from the 1800s, and look at how this is all just built in. Gosh, I love it when counters are clean. And then this guy right here is your garbage bin, but it actually is on wheels, so you can roll it around if you're chopping on this beautiful piece of furniture over here. You can bring it right next to you. These are the types of things that you won't find in like a builder home necessarily because they've really been thought through and she enjoyed this house herself. So she really kind of thought through these details. Look at this piece that feels like this space was designed around it. This is an older find that she found and then she had um, a designer build the bottom unit. She said she had to go through four different people to be able to get it to match the top. This house is only 2,200 square feet, but gosh, doesn't it feel bigger than that? Come on up and let's check out the bedrooms. Look at the window detail right here. So we're in East Austin right now, and it's definitely a transitioning neighborhood, but most of the homes on this street have been recently renovated. Does it look like this house was built around this bed or what? So pretty. I love the floating canopy bed. It just feels kind of magical. And look at this bathroom. So these are the types of finds that you'll find at Round Top. Like you just can't buy this kind of stuff anymore. And then she's married the blue into the upstairs. The whole wall is blue and so is the vanity itself. Closet, bathroom. The floating shower, and look at the size of that tub. I love design with a little bit of humor. You just feel like maybe the, the little dresser fell into the wall or something. It just gives you that little bit of Alice in Wonderland kind of feel. Look at that, a little humor in the art as well, but gosh, that's a well done drawing. Always love a floating chair. We 
The tile detail in this bathroom and the pop of color against the black and white high contrast, so beautiful. This room is amazing and it's got the open bathroom. I love the use of the chalkboard. Again, just a little bit of humor. It's just the details in this house that blow me away. Like this older shelf, it's exactly the size of the window, which came first. Definitely bringing in the old and marrying it with the modern. So my producer and I were going back and forth. She saw moons and I saw spiders. What do you see? Leave a comment below. Come check out the upstairs deck with me. You get some nice views of the modern homes in the area and gosh, look at this tree. I mean, it must be at least 200 years old. Let's go see the other house next door. Both homes boast 2,200 square feet, three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. And each home has its own roof deck and they have a shared space between so you could purchase them both or you could purchase one individually. So she mimicked the unit over here but this one is a new build made to look old. Exactly the same layouts but a few different details. We have this beautiful copper hood that she found. And I love all these little old pieces in the house. They just make the house feel like it's an old house, even though it's brand new. And we have that little two piece bathroom here, just like on the other side. Wonderful space for gatherings, entertaining. I just love the detail of the curved bench. She has these uh, really smart lights going up the stairs. They just give such a nice, elegant detail. And then these stairs are actually trunks. So you can store in there, but you can also get to the plumbing. So you have this great screen right here, just in case you wanna kick back and watch a movie. And just like the other one, there's three bedrooms. So this bed was actually the seller's great grandparents' bed and she slept in it as a little girl. Always love that floating chair. Nice and clean in here. One of the things that is a detail on this house is that they are really heavy solid doors and it really kind of gives it that old fashioned feeling, which I love. Love that contrast of the old and the new. Look at this amazing bed and rattan is so in right now too, but with that pop of green, I love it. It feels very Philip Stark. And then of course we're bringing that navy blue in here and look at this amazing piece that she customized herself. The blue wall against the gold old mirrors and these vintage lights that she found. And everybody loves a sofa in the bathroom it's where the girls want to hang out. And then the upstairs is just like next door. There's so many unique pieces in this house. I think that this would probably be my favorite one. And if you've been here before, you know I'm pretty modern in my aesthetic, but I just love the contrast of the old and the new or made to look old. What was your favorite? Leave a comment below. Check out the description below to get all the details on this property. If you like this house as much as I do, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below and hit that bell because we have videos coming out every single Tuesday. We'll see you soon, bye.